So I click OK and then print. If so, if you have a printers, it will auto print out. Okay. <laughs> Hello guys, welcome back to John Coder. Today we talk about another system and the system I will show you today is Bookstore. First time, if we want to create a new brand, a uh, new store, we need to register the brand name or some information. If we not yet register a brand for the store, a new store, we need to register here. So I said Bookstore in here and my bookstore name is John Books. Okay. And short, we can write J O B. And the email is joins OS email dot com. That is my phone number. And click it. And wait a few minutes, it prepared the data for brand, for a new brand. So the message is new brand has been registered here. And then you got a um, new user for login, the admin with the brand code and the password. So you need to note the password and user. Then I have a user, I can go back to login here and copy, let me copy here, put pass here. Okay, login. Now, the new brand I register is complete and can log in and you can see a menu here. Okay, and this system, it the main function of the system we create for POS system, okay? But the, the main point of the system for POS, we need to have a set currency. <laughs> Example, now I choose a KHR, okay? Let me to choose a, my currency, a KHR, and I set a change to a dollar, okay, first. And my small amount is 100 and a small amount of the line is 0 0.1 okay so i feel the exchange rate is 100 real equal 0, 0.0 sorry 25 okay this my exchange rate and this is the stock that we need to sell cut from okay we need to select this stock if we need to sell from the stock sale or stock man or something like that but now i set the uh, two stock only and man and sell stock okay after we set the setting here we can get a pos okay ps but the pos menu right now is don't have any item in here so we need to register a customer and item or anything so let's go back to uh, product information in here. Start to register the new product. And firstly, I have a barcode reader. So I need to scan the barcode from my books here. And the book title, it is um, Alibaba. It is Alibaba and the cost, I buy 4,000 real. And I sell back 8,000. Okay. Discount 5%. And the line is books. And this this book right by Dan Kelk Clock. So I'm not yet registered in here. I can choose other. And Publix, I also choose other because I'm not yet get information this book with that, that it released. Okay. And I can choose it is active. I get yes. Yeah, and then we create, okay, and one more thing, I want to create a red pen, but I don't have a barcode on the red pen, but I have a gem read by myself, I put 002, yeah, I buy 1000, and I say about 2000, it's called no, and this a pen, and this no, and other, I choose other and active yes, also. Yes, it complete. So if we want to get information information of user back, you can type the barcode and enter. You will get this one. And also you can scan the barcode reader by scan like this. If you get the item, if you get an item to show you back and if you want to edit 
For example, now you want to change to discount 10% all the sale. But the most thing is, if you don't want to type barcode or you don't want to uh, read the code reader, you want to search in here, you also can. Okay, You can type a little bit code in here. You can select on it and then see whatever you want and then you can select it like this. Or you can type in here. Okay. Example, you have a code, you remember, or you have a code with like this, you can type 1 or 2 or 3 or 4, like this, yeah. So when we complete this item in register uh, products, we can go back to the other menu is purchase order. Before we be, we can POS, we need to purchase item in to our stock, okay? So, the information I need to fill invoice 001 I buy from yeah I have Amazon only and because I said in this thing here is set stock so I want to protect to the set stock okay and barcode I need a red pen okay or I can scan my book like this I can scan a book if I want to increase quality I can scan again and again okay and also I need add a book if don't have it will show the message it don't have this barcode in our system and one more is mindset okay this book I already registered so you can see this column is quality if you need five you can press five and here two and this one and also discount you can set it 10 percent okay oh this one is 20 and then save so after that mean our transaction purchase is complete but not yet into our stock let's go to the report and then you can check you don't have data in stock here why because we need to authorize in here we need to authorize the transaction mean we need to view control mean the cashier or other one is a check order but need to have management to control the is correct or not amount of quality or something like that okay if the thing is okay we can authorize okay and after authorize we can have product in stock here yeah just like this it's so like this okay so let me purchase again for example ILC002 and stop man and I buy this book and other book yeah and one more thing is the happiness time yeah and other one yeah buy scan code okay this one is done how I'm not yet registered okay and I need the red pen again yeah all I said one I need ten ten and okay all I need change and no discount fill information correctly so I can save and after sale I need go to the authorize tell the in here after I authorize in here this item need to increase 10 and here 10 and this item also increase 10 okay so let to approve and go back to report, report and then check out okay this item increase 10 here increase 10 and here is increase 10 so after we have product in stock we can go to the POS and actually before we sell we get the POS we need to have the customer information in here you can register the new one is example and go to us and active yeah okay and great when I go back to the POI menu I will get many items in here so I click here it get all the items in this store and if I choose the book it get only the book and if I choose pen get only a pen okay so for the ruler or other it mean if you register the item here item here if you get a ruler you will get if you choose the ruler ruler in there 
Okay, so POF, let me explain the POF. The POF form is we can choose the customer and then we can scan barcode again for the sales app. Okay, and I sell to, yeah. So in this form, it is very really important. Um, we have the item like this. You can change the quality to one from one to two and you also can discount here is ten percent the same or oh, one more thing if you want to increase you can or you can change at a discount you can double click and then change discount amount okay and this is we call individual discount okay it mean if you want to set this item is 10% you can double click on it or this one to 20% you can double click on it and then you set only one item is 20% but in example now you have other item like this and all item you want to set 20% okay you can set all the 20% and amount of the change in here up to you change example you can change here to 5 it will increase amount here. So in the form, we have two choice. One is discount all in the item, and one more is double click to get amount discount by individual. Okay. I hope you can understand it because it just a function high inside here. And after I got it is correctly and click OK in here, and you will see the best. Currency real is by currency for real is thirty four thousand and eight hundred. Okay, and I need to fill on example. I have only thirty thousand. Okay, I have thirty thousand. So I don't. I need to charge in the line. I need to pay nearly one dollar, but I need to pay one dollar more. We need to return back. If you return to real, it two hundred and the line is zero point zero four cent. Okay, so I click OK and then print. If so, if you have a printers, it will auto print out. Okay, and here I'm going to show you so it will if you appear like this have a subtotal, discount, grand total, paid, and return back, change amount. Okay, and after we complete, you can see the invoice in list here. So let me let me sell at the invoice. I clear here and general. I send to general customer. I have a mindset books, happiness, blue pen, Alibaba book. Okay, and all here I said for you see five ten, but I want to sorry. So let to add a book, add a invoice. Okay, let let me choose here happiness, blue pen, Alibaba. And all this item, you see, we have to set ten percent, uh, zero percent, five percent from product form information here. But in this case, I want to set all is ten percent, all the item ten percent amount in here, and I will payment in here. So I have fifty thousand, okay, and no need to fill amount in the line. And if I return back, I need to return to the customer twenty two thousand one hundred and four. If you have to return to the line, is four point forty two the line. Okay, okay. And this one I don't want to print. Okay, and you can see the item in list here. Okay, you can have two items that you already paid. Okay, for this invoice 004, we action the previous but not yet complete the payment. So I will change some information in here. But now I want to discount all the item is 50 percent. Okay, and the money will appear here. And if this item all is correct, I click OK for payment. And I have 20,000. Okay, 20,000. So I need to return. 4,500 in here and if return to the line is 0 0.90 okay 
and click OK and I get I don't want to get invoice so I choose no yep and after that you will appear the, the invoice in here all invoice in here so if example if you want to you want to update this invoice quality discount or something you cannot right if you want to update or you want to add product in here you cannot because this invoice already have a payment completely even you can tie here but you will see the mistake like this okay mean the invoice is not update anything just so in here and if you enter it will change back like this but if you want to change you need to click here modifies it means you want to modify this invoice okay and then you can change only you can change uh, quality you can change quality here 10 yep. and you can set the discount here is 10 or uh, you can change whatever you want okay one one and now i change to one one only and discount 20 10 and 20 and then if correctly i click okay and i have 5000 here if i have the line of five the line more i need to detail like this and return to the line is like this if you have which one that you have to return to change amount okay and click print again if you want to print yeah it has total and then discount after discount grand total charge okay whatever in here okay so the form is completely a uh, three button in here and here only clear button only and after you process a POS when you go to a report you will get a quality still the same before like this because you need to also write one more the same to a check order yeah example now I want to approve this invoice only one and one when I click approve I to report and then get back and then print out you will see amount have changed here okay minus one minus one and minus one okay it process in and out stop okay and here one one the same so can get again without show like it okay here is over balance mean the pen only one so you have minus in stock you need to purchase to replace back okay so you also can add a function to validate if zero is stock it don't ha don't, don't want to sell more okay i hope that the new developer or a new programmer can get this code to analyze or to learn or to have your develop okay and this report it means this today how much that we sell already and we already approve and this report it means how many items that we already sell off but not yet approved in here and also right okay and I just created a three uh, invoice uh, sorry and it's three report only so I hope if you want any report you can comment in the video below or you can develop by yourself for the programmer to support your client and your customer okay and all the function is here is complete okay and let me verify with you this system I have complete all this function but the step two we need to complete the function okay we need to register supply orders publish and product line and stock transfer and create user for login okay because we have only the admin login that I demo here I hope you can understand because this is a past one I want the new developers to get my Cisco to develop or any idea for upgrade the project okay thank you okay now all is finished thank you for watching bye